Hi ladies, I'm in Ronald's room today because his camera is still working. It's not the greatest, but it works. And my camera is still not being that friendly. We still need to work on my computer, so I'm in his room um, using his computer. So I wanted to go over one thing, and that was shopping. And you know how ever since I lost weight, I haven't been that satisfied shopping much because the fit is always wrong my body is just weird right now and I mean I'm still losing weight and I do have an update on that I weighed myself and because of the things that I've been going through with my teeth um, and getting them removed and I might still talk a little bit weird right now because I'm still kind of in pain I'm trying not to take the pain medication anymore um, because as, as great as it makes me feel um, I I feel like I can endure this right now it's 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 just soreness, so I don't want to take my pain meds. Um, as far as the pain meds go, the coating that I got didn't work so well. And the Vicodin, I had to take a double dose of that for it to work well. So I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the last video. But I want to talk about shopping. And the only thing that really satisfies me right now is shoe shopping. Um, because my feet have, have stopped shrinking. I am staying at an eight and a half, and it's been like that for the past couple months that I'm hoping that it stays that way. Um, I did weigh myself and I am at 153 and that I think is because I had to go back to like a phase one eating plan and I've only been eating mushy foods like soup, blended soup, um, Greek yogurt with a, a touch of honey and um, what else did I eat? Like chili, like the beans because they're soft. Um, what else did I eat? Just liquid, a lot of liquid. Um, so I've lost a significant amount of weight. I went from 161 to 153 in a week. That's not that good, is it? I'm starting to eat little by little, a little bit more. So maybe I'll gain it back, I don't know. Um, the first purchase that I made, and this is, these are all boots, by the way, because it's, it was, it's winter, and I want it to be keep warm. So, I wanted something that was easy, and, um, just to slip on and just go out the door. And I got these. If you can see them. These are your regular boots. Um, they're soft. Um, they're made out of suede. So, obviously, I'm a cat lady, and I have a bunch of cat hair everywhere, so I'm not liking... I like them, but I don't like them that much because I have to run the lint roller on it every once in a while. But they're very comfortable. They reach um, just below my knees, so and they're very warm. They don't have a heel, so they're these are, like, casual. Um, and I got these at Ross for $20. These were $19.99. And that's, to me, that's a steal. I don't like paying more than $25 for shoes. Is that sad? I know I'm cheap. Um, and the second pair that I bought, but I'm sorry. I couldn't pass these up. They were $15. Do you see the fur at the top? And these hit my knees. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh, my God. It has a little heel. Um little buckle and it looks kind of loose I mean they look so cute on but I love this fur now you can fold it all the way up and just go have it go at your knees like at your a little bit above your knee or you can fold it and it'll hit below your knee and you have the fur it's so cute I love these boots and they're so comfortable the only thing that I'm having now is the zipper on the side it is stuck it got stuck last time and I had to have Ron get it unstuck I don't want to rip it that's probably the only reason why I don't like shopping there anymore is because if I have a problem I'm pretty much screwed they have a seven day return policy it was more than seven days so I have to get that unstuck and last but not least yes it's another boot and it's all because it's different look these no heel these have a heel right they're, they're a little heel, and they have the fur. So And then these are made out of suede, too, so the cat hair problem. I wanted something that I wasn't going to have issues with the cat hair. And I wanted something that matches my leather jacket that Ron gave me for Christmas. So I got these leather 
boots that have a higher heel and that have a zipper on the side. They're simple, black, sleek, stylish boots. And these were $20 um, at Plaza Mexico. And I have had no issues with them at all. I, I love them. They're pretty comfortable. And that is so far the purchase that I am extremely happy with. Usually I buy pants and then they don't fit me the next day. So that's why I just stopped. And I buy tops and they fit me. And then after like two weeks they don't fit me anymore. So I stopped doing that too. Um, I do have a couple of dresses that I bought that are being shipped. Um, I did buy a dress for my engagement party. I know it's kind of early, but it was on sale for $20. And, um, did I say engagement party? No, for my reception, for my wedding. Um, yeah, $20 reception dress, okay? And it was cute, and it's made of chiffon, and it has, like, a really cute, like, crystal accent right here, but it didn't fit me. It was a size 14, and it didn't fit me, so... I have to go get it altered by my sister-in-law and hopefully she can make it fit. Um, that's why I don't really like buying clothes because it's just too hard um, for me and I don't really enjoy it that much and I know people are like, well you lost weight, you should enjoy it, but I, I really don't. <laughs> um, I did find a wedding dress over the holiday. Um, I found my wedding dress. And right now I'm debating because I see it on two different sites for do two different prices and I'm debating on where, where I should get it. If I should get it for cheaper and risk it not fitting perfectly or should I just get it in the store and having it fit fine but pay a higher price. I'm all about saving the money so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But those are the shoes. And I just wanted to do, I don't know if this is a shoe haul, maybe it is, um, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the purchases that I, you know, made and am ecstatic about because I didn't spend more than $20 on the shoes, you know, on each shoe. And I have boots that are going to last me a while, so I'm ecstatic. Um, I'm going to try to keep posting videos twice a week um, because I really want... Like I said, I really want you guys to be on this journey with me, and I want to keep you guys updated. So, right now I'm at 153. I'm three pounds away from my own personal goal of 150. Um, but I'm still a couple pounds away from being 135, which is what my doctor wanted me to be at um, once I hit my one-year mark. And, I mean, I'm close to it. I'm close enough. I th I'm fine at this weight. I think, to be honest, I miss having a little bit more cushion I it, I'm thin to the point where I didn't want to be this thin um, but whatever as long as I'm not sick it's fine um, I will have my doctor's appointment uh, I believe in three weeks so I'm definitely gonna try to include you guys in that um, by include you I mean film it so that um, you guys can see what a one-year anniversary appointment is like. Um, so hopefully I will see you guys next week uh, with another video. I will be posting a couple more videos about cruising. It's just, I guess, rants. Not really rants, but just complaints of things to avoid when you're on a cruise. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys cruised or not, or if you guys will be interested in it or not. But if you're not, then just don't watch the video. <laughs> Um, and I will see you guys next week.